Welcome to Eflux Effects Tutorials. Uh, today we're going to cover some uh, how to resolve some common problems that we use when we're using more than one uh, motion or uh, combining motions. And uh, especially these problems are really obvious when uh, you're changing motions. And so we'll kind of go how to use some some built-in uh, tools to uh, make it as easy as possible to streamline. And if you look here, I'll just run. I put together a quick motion to show you the problem. So we combined a turn and a walk motion and see as soon as we turn, when we hit the second motion, he f heads right back in the other direction, uh, that uh, the opposite direction of where it was walking. So we made a 180 degree turn and turned right back. And, and, and that problem's really caused uh, by the way uh, iClone, if you don't have it set up right, interprets the local and the uh, world uh, moves. So. Um, if you don't have it set up right, uh, and, and I'll kind of show you here, it, it can cause problems. So again, we have the local move, you have the gizmo up there and the world move. Um, the gizmo itself, uh, just so you know, up is uh, positive Z, uh, the red is X, and uh, green is Y. And you'll notice all of, I'm using the mix moves animations, and the character always heads off in the, starts off in the uh, negative Y direction, so that's that's what we have to get aligned and uh, work on. So, and you'll see that there. So as I scrub through it, you'll notice. Let me let me change the angle here a little bit. And as I scrub through, I want you to watch what happens with the gizmo as he as he turns. Uh, and I just grabbed a, a standard uh, motion and character here for this demonstration. Now you'll notice as he turns, the turn looks good, but you'll notice now he goes from heading in the uh, the um, Ne from the negative y into the positive y direction and we are very important uh, and I'll explain this more later we are in local mode so you'll see how so he's actually flipped so then when we bring the new motion in because uh, again the character is set up to head in the negative y direction he spins right around so um, you can keyframe this that's a lot of work and there are some tutorials that do that uh, with the new tools in iClone 7 uh, there's no reason to do that so so we'll go over here and I'll show you how we fix it. It's real simple and then uh, I'll show you how you smooth out the clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset everything. And uh, so we've just got the character in a standard T-pose and we're gonna apply a couple of motions, same motions, we're gonna turn them around. So, but this time we're gonna set it up differently. So under animation, we're gonna go to the motion setting options and we're gonna select align action, actor motion. We're gonna select align to actor orientation and the reset motion, motion root. Uh, resetting the motion root really comes in handy. It keeps your, uh, that gizmo with the character. Otherwise, sometimes you'll see where the character will walk away and that will cause its own problems. Um, so here we go. So we'll double click on the walk turn, same animation as before. Um, we'll let the character walk through and you'll see everything looks fine, just like before. The, there is no problem with the turn, the, the, the single motion. These problems start, really start occurring when we're using multiple motions, and I'll show you that. But here I want you to notice, I just showed, uh, kind of showed you the gizmo. You'll notice now the gizmo itself, as long as you're in local, rotate it with the character where before it did not. So the character is still heading in the, the negative Y direction. From the world standpoint, if I select, uh, select the world uh, orientation, you'll notice the, um, the gizmo flips back. Uh, so... So now that we know that we're still headed in a negative Y, now when we bring in and we double click on the walk animation, the character continues heading in the negative Y direction. And if you watch here, and the character keeps on going, he no longer spins. Now there's a jump there and all. We'll, we'll go ahead and cover how to fix that. I, I know there's a lot of tutorials on it, but if you're here, we might as well finish it. So again, Character's going to turn. We scrub it. You'll see the gizmo turns. He stays in the negative Y direction. As, again, make sure you're in the local mode or this will get confusing. And he keeps walking, right? So now uh, one of the things I don't like about mixed moves is the, the motions aren't really seamless. Uh, they didn't really spend any time on making them seamless. By the way, just real quick again, if you slip to uh, world mode, you'll see the gizmo flip 180 degrees. So... This makes it so much easier. Uh, now I can combine clips, and now all I gotta do is focus on making the, uh, the animation, the character not slide, and the legs not, uh, as you can see, stutter. So, so again, not hard to do. And uh, let's delete the, I'll, I'll just show you another thing here. So 
We'll delete the uh, walking motion. Uh, you'll notice everything's set on the transform to zero, so you don't have to zero out anything, by the way. Um, so the character turns, but you'll notice right at the end, it kind of starts heading off to the uh, left. It goes past 180. Well, I want the character to go straight the other way. So I'll just show you. it's real easy. Uh, back them up till you get a place where um, that's straight. Now I'm going to use the left leg as the, uh, the, the baseline for lining up the two clips. So I'm going to line them up where the left leg is planted and the right foot is just coming off the ground. Like I like that right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the clip. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to break it. And after I break it, I'm just going to click on the uh, right and I'm just going to delete. And now that clip will stop its motion right as he plants his left leg. So I like that. So now I want to finish. So uh, again, I want him to walk. So I'm going to double click on the walk animation. And I'm going to get rid of the transition uh, piece there. We'll, 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 we'll play with that later. Uh, I want to get everything lined up first. So and you notice I haven't had to keyframe anything. So um, again, it makes it easy. But you'll see the character jump. So what do I have to do? So first thing I've got to do is let's scrub the, the new uh, motion until he plants that left foot and just starts lifting the right foot up. Uh, we're going to right click. We're going to break that animation. We'll delete that portion, bring it over. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on getting this perfect uh, just because I just want to show you the method because you could probably spend 15 or 20 minutes getting these perfect, especially if you're going to be doing a close up that's going to involve the feet. So what I want to do is to for, first thing I want to do is align the two clips. So I'm going to select the second clip. I'm going to click align. And again, I plan at the left leg. So that's going to be my reference. So I'm going to right click align left leg. You'll see it shifts. So now the uh, character doesn't slide anymore. Um, and sorry, I kind of got a little behind on, on what I was doing there just because I wanted to explain a couple things. But again, the key is, is to make sure everything's aligned. So I right click, select a line with the right leg. Now I've got everything pretty much lined up. And um, I want to go ahead and now I'm going to add that transition piece to smooth out the motion. So I just come over to the right clip. You'll see it gives me the double ended arrow and I just slide it over and then still a little jump in the step there, a little hesitation. And, and you can play with how far you go with that till you get the motion right where you want it. Um, it's pretty close right there. Um, you know, and depending on how your, your angle, if you're looking at the upper body, you know, you can make some decisions on how much. So again, we'll, we'll go ahead and run it. It turns around, no sliding. And look at that, it walks right off. And, and not a lot of keyframing. You're not worried about, you know, like I said, uh, what I'll call stray movements that can jump in sometimes when you're doing keyframing, or at least I feel they do. Um, and it takes a lot more cleanup. So again, the main thing with this tutorial was just to show you uh, how to use the, uh, the animation motion settings, uh, a little bit on how to clean up when combining multiple uh, motions and more, and more importantly, the importance of them when you're changing motions and you want the character to continue down a certain route. So again, um, I think that covers everything for today. Again, you can see how smooth that motion is and we spent not a whole lot of time on it. And we could combine as many motions as we want, just one after the other. Make sure you use the align so whatever foot is planted or hand or root, you can, depending on the motion you're using, you can play around with what you align. And um, there you go. So again, uh, thanks for uh, watching and uh, greatly appreciate it. And hopefully you'll uh, enjoy some of our upcoming uh, short films. So have a good day.